Hello, it's Alex from Spring Signage, and in this video, we're going to look at making a layout using some custom fonts and images. Uh, so, we're already logged into our CMS. Um, you should already have a CMS instance if you're following through this series of training videos. Um, so, we're going to go straight to the library. Uh, so, on the left hand menu here, we've got library and then media. So, this is the place within Zebo where all of your file-based media so images videos fonts flash content and so on will be uploaded to um, so the first thing we're going to do is add uh, some images well one image and some font cus some custom font files um, so at the top right hand side here we just click on add media and we're presented with a choice of things we can upload so we're going to upload an image first so we'll click on add image and then once we clicked on add image we can either drag and drop files directly onto here or we can click add files and pick them from the local computer ourselves. so here I've already picked uh, an image uh, this is a piece of Creative Commons licensed photography from a guy called Tom Tip or lady called Tom Tip in equally um, and the full credit for this will be in the video notes below um, we're just going to give it a name again this name's not shown anywhere other than inside the CMS so you can use it so you can you can call it whatever whatever makes sense to you so I'm going to use the name of the piece of work And I'm going to put what it's who it was by, so that I remember later on that it's Creative Commons Attribution licensed, and then click Start to upload it. So that's already uploaded, and if we close, we can see that we've got a grid just the same as the layout designer, uh, and in there we've got the image we just uploaded. Uh, we're also going to add a couple of fonts. So if we click on Add Font. Uh, now these two fonts, one's called Dancing Script and one's called Linear, they're both um, open font licensed and again a link will be below uh, if you want to go and download these yourselves. Um, one important thing to keep in mind with fonts is that once you've uploaded them into Zebo, you can't change their names without uh, breaking any layouts that use those fonts. So it's important to make sure that you name these fonts in a sensible way as you upload them. So we just upload the other one now. Okay, so though both those fonts are uploaded. There's just one little quirk at the moment. We need to edit one of these fonts just to regenerate a file within Zebo. So we just hit on edit on one of the fonts and then click save. We don't need to do anything else than that. Um, Great, so we've now got the resources we need to make our layout. We've got our background image and we've got our two fonts. So we're going to head straight over to the layout section. Uh, you'll remember this from the, the first video we did. Um, and we're going to create a new layout. So we simply click on Add Layout. We'll give it a name. So this is going to be Cake Shop Example. Uh, and again, we're going to go for a 1080p resolution for this, this layout and just hit save and we get taken straight into the layout designer. Now, you'll remember from before um, that we've got our region here that we can resize um, and the buttons up here to save and undo those positions. The first thing we're going to do is set a background color and a background image on the layout. So at the top here, we press on the options menu and go to the background section. From the background image section of the change background properties box we're going to choose the picture that we just uploaded which was if you remember our cheesecake by Tom Tip uh, and we're going to save that and we can see if I move this region out of the way that image loads in for us in position. The other thing we're going to do in here is set a background color that is approximately the same color as our layout background or the majority of it the reason being you'll see when we add text that uh, the 
text input box will be coloured that colour. And since where we're going to put text on this layout is that pink colour, it'll be helpful if our text editor has a similar background colour so we can see what we're doing. Uh, fine, so we're going to resize the region that we were given initially. And we're going to pull it, put it about there. We might make it just a little wider and not forget to save its position. And then we're going to put some text into that. So you can see the text editor's background has gone pink since we picked pink from the, the background properties. Um, so we're going to put example cakes, which is the name of our fictitious cake shop. And we're going to highlight that just as you would in an office suite. And we're going to pick the font we uploaded, dancing script. And we're going to make that nice and big, so 128 point will be about right, I should think. And then don't forget we need to move to the options tab and enter a duration. I'm going to use 10 seconds again here since this is just an example layout, um, which means that that text is guaranteed to stay there for at least 10 seconds. That's fine. So our text item has been assigned and we can close that and where we can see our heading in, in place. And we can just resize that region down a little to make it take less space. So we've got there our background image and our heading and now we need to put on another region to contain uh, the cake offerings that are uh, available in our example cake shop. So from the options menu we pick options and then add region and you'll see what happens is a new region appears on the layout and we can position that and size it as we wish. So I think it's going to want to be about that big. Don't forget we can move it afterwards and lock it in position. And we're going to again edit timeline, add some text. Now I've got ready made here a selection of cakes from, for a menu. And I've just pasted those in there. They're just plain text uh, and we're just going to quickly format them. So I want these to be centered so I'm going to highlight the whole lot and center it. I want to make this all in the other font we uploaded, linear, and I think we're going to want them a bit bigger too, so I think probably about 36 point will be about right. Um, don't forget again, you can always come back in here and adjust these things. Um, I want to make the, the names of the cakes in bold, so I'm going to highlight them and press bold, and I want to add an extra new line after each one. There's two kinds of new lines you can insert into a, into a Zebo text region. You can just press the carriage return or enter key and you'll get a new paragraph which is a, a large new line. If you want uh, something a little smaller you can hold down shift and press enter and you'll get a small new line break. So that's what I'm going to do for each one of these. And I'm going to finish up making these all bold. Okay, and again, we need to remember to go and set a duration. Let's say I'm picking 10 seconds. Save it, and there we go. So we've got our content on the on the page, and I'm going to just nudge the region down a little so that it doesn't cut the picture. And once it's positioned where you're happy with it, you just press save. And there we have it. There's our second layout we've created. We can see the little indicator at the top says that it's ready to play. And if we go to Options Preview Layout, after a couple of seconds we can see everything loads in and we can see how the layout would look if we played it on a real player. So that's it for this video. Uh, be sure to join me again. We'll be looking at some of the other features within the Zebo CMS. 